In this video, we're going to find the population standard deviation of a data set using the stat function of our calculator. So here is our data. This is the height in centimeters of the spinach plants, which vary from 44 to 56. And this is our frequency column, meaning that there's one plant with a height of 44 centimeters, there's six plants with a height of 49 centimeters, etc. So we are going to use the TI-30XS multi-view calculator. There's two buttons that we'll need. This is the data button and above that in green it says stat. So if you ever want to use something in green, you first click the second button and then this button and you'll get the stat function. So first let's enter the data and notice I hit data and the keys I'm pressing are up here for your reference. So first I'm noticing I have data in here already and I want to clear this out. Okay. So you can always hit delete a bunch of times but that's time consuming. So if this happens hit data again. So I've hit data twice and it gives you options to clear the list. So first I'm going to clear L1 by hitting enter. Now I'm going to hit data again and clear L2. And now notice both of the lists are cleared. Now I'm going to use the arrow to move to list 1 and I want to put our data values in that list. So you enter the num well type the number then hit enter 44 45 So I have entered all but the last data value 56 thought I'd save you the joy of watching me do that. Okay. So notice here it says L114 so that would be the 14th data value. We don't have a 14th data value. We have 13. But this is a good way to check to make sure that you've entered the right amount of data. Now we're going to put the frequency in L2. So I'm going to use the right arrow. So 1 corresponds to 44. So I hit 1 enter. 1 enter. So I'm just going to put in all of these frequencies. So I've entered all of the frequencies. I'm on the last one and I hit enter. And I always check at this point. I have the same number of data values in list 1 as list 2. That should be the case if you've hit a data value and forgot to hit enter. Or if you skipped one by accident, these would be uneven. Uh, the calculator won't let you compute the statistics. It will tell you that the dimension is wrong. Uh, but this is a good way to check. So let me clear this history. And now we are going to go to stat. So I'm going to hit second and data, which gives us stat. We want one variable stats. Now here we need to enter a few things. The data, we this data we put in list 1, so that's correct. List 1 is highlighted. Uh, here we had frequency values. If you just had a list of data without frequencies, you'd keep this on 1. But we put our frequencies in list 2, so I'm going to use the arrow to highlight list 2 and hit enter. Okay. Now it's moved down and it's blinking over calc. And I will hit enter. And this is going to give us all sorts of statistics. Now we wanted to find the population standard deviation. For your reference, this is the number of data points. This is the mean, is 50. This is the sample standard deviation. But number four, this small letter here, this is the lowercase Greek letter sigma. And this represents the population standard deviation. There's more values here if you keep hitting the arrow that we'll learn about later and feel free to peruse them if you'd like. But we were after this number to two decimal places so it's 2.54. So the population standard deviation is 2.54.